Introducing Alois Decan, a deadbeat with a pretentious name. Gonk broke my trust and skipped town. Well, fuck him. Only thing I care about now is the data he left in NC. Specifically, what's on his comp. Check the attachment, you'll see what to do. You go, blood.
Who would have thought? Corpo or not, without Chrome, we all look like the same idiotic, bullet-ridden sacks of meat.
You're V, right? You find the data bank? Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. You know, it's not like I was gonna go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scavs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks.
Spare a veteran some change. Here. All yours. Why so good and you? God bless.
Sandra, it's me, V. Got your data bank. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scabs? My, uh, friend told me your memory'd be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, no, no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? And ruin my cred? For what, a few bytes of data? Funny you should say that. Cause not long ago, the data bank's GPS SIG suddenly went online. Which can only mean one thing. Someone booted it up and used it. Alright, you got me. I looked inside. I know everything. That's what I thought. So what's your next move? To congratulate you, of course. Anyone who hacks Night Corps earned my respect. Oh. Well, I, um, thank you. You know, if they end up going through with it, then... The net will become even more dangerous. You were worried they'd find out about you. Exactly. Using AGI to condition workers' minds. Mm, that's some supervillain shit right there. Eventually... It'll let them control anyone they want. That's what scares me the most. Glad to see there are runners who are finding old school dirt like this. I just hope it gets put to good use. Oh, it will. Don't you worry about that. Here. What we agreed on. Plus a little extra. People like us need to stick together, right? Thanks. And good luck.
Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and here's what's happening in the world today. The last active photovoltaic solar farms have been decommissioned in Nevada and Utah. Solar power generation, once seen as the future of clean energy in America, has suffered significant setbacks in today's more extreme climate. The layer of dust suspended in our atmosphere, a result of the Himalayan wars, has limited the amount of solar radiation reaching the Earth's surface. More importantly, the increasing regularity of hurricanes and sandstorms caused frequent and costly damage to most solar farms. Unsurprisingly, wind power has fared just as poorly. The number of active turbines has plummeted by 63% over the last 15 years alone. It appears Q2 will remain the uncontested leader in the energy sector for the foreseeable future. In mainland Europe and the Mediterranean, the humanitarian crisis has grown worse. According to the latest report, as much as 20% of the continent is no longer suitable for human habitation. Temperatures in Sicily, Malta, and the Cyclades have reached as high as 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Air pollution in Poland, Bulgaria, and Romania now exceeds the continent's average by more than 2,000%. However, heads of state in France, England, and Germany have issued a joint statement in which they preclude the option of government intervention. Their statement reads, quote, interference by government authority is interference in the free market. The disruption of natural market mechanisms only serves to... Good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes. And if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. <laughs> right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. <laughs> by God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there? Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly, I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. But you can't him. ignore the truth! Correct. 
Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a- Sorry, but this gonna take much longer. I do you a favor now, by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. Oda! What? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me. Too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... Um, I am simply not used to such questions. People like me... Either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies.
Is the sound. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well. Who do I spy but V in my humble parlor, no less? Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite koe desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make him, we got this. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. What I fail to understand is why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame, that. That a threat I detect? No threat? No. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex. I answered. Just facts. Nothing more. Good. Cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. 
It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Last best hope is a stroke of good fortune. You truly think something? 